Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to convert speech and also audio and video recordings into text. So it's called Speech to Text Converter. So there are two versions. There's the free version and then there's also a pay for version if you don't want to see the NAG screen and you want to get updates and that type of thing. And there's also two ways to use it. There is an installable version that you install like any other type of program or there's a standalone version where you just download the zip file and extract it and run the executable and that's what I'm going to be using here. So I'm going to open it up. So here's the NAG screen you're going to have to look at. So the more times you open it in one day or in a short period of time uh, you're going to have that countdown otherwise you just have to click on the continue button here. And then you could buy it from here and enter your key if you do buy it. Alright so it's broken down into these tabs here. So here's the offline version where you could use just your microphone. Then we have these other options here. So these are going to be more of a subscription account. So you're going to need to have an account with these and able to use these different search engines. You know, even OpenAI and DeepGram API. And then this is part of Windows here. So you could actually use this as well. Which we'll get to in a second. All right, so you could record audio. So when you record the audio, it'll automatically save it as a audio file, and then you could convert it from here, or you could load your audio file later and then convert it. So when speaking into this, um, it's not like on your smartphone where it's going to do punctuation, or you could say, you know, period or question mark, and it'll actually put that in. It's just basic text. And what I've noticed too is that you need to speak slowly and clearly and then pause between sentences and then it'll put them on a separate line otherwise you might run into a problem of um, sentences that are just running together all right so let's just check out the record option here first then we'll load some files and have it translated for us I am now recording my voice and I will pause after each sentence now I'm going to start a new sentence and then I'm going to finish with a third and final sentence. So you can see it makes the audio file here, which you could actually play. I am now recording my voice and I will pause after each sentence. And then it automatically loads it here and then you could click on the convert button. And you can see here one problem I've noticed too is you need to kind of let it record after you stop your last sentence to let it finish so if you if you're done speaking then you press stop right away it might cut it off all right so let's try a new one here i am going to record my voice for the second time here i am now going to speak my second sentence i will now speak my third sentence and then pause before i click on stop All right, let's try it out. All right, so you can see it worked much better there and actually kept all of the uh, audio that I recorded and didn't cut it off. Okay, so now let's um, try a couple files here. So I have this video file here of a speech. Just clear this out here. Load this file here. Play it real quick just for a second. Themselves to criticism of the way others. Okay, let's convert it here. All right, so it did a pretty good job there. Of course, you'll have to proof it to make sure everything was translated correctly. Let's clear this out. Now we'll load the audio file, the mp3 file. So it's the same thing, it's just in an audio format instead of a video format. So we'll convert it. Alright, so you can see that worked pretty good too. Let's clear this out again. All right, now let's try the continuous dictation. So the first time you do this, uh, Windows might ask you to set up the speech recognition on your computer. So if you haven't done that already, you might have to go through that. 
And so if that record button doesn't show up on top here, you could close and reopen it, or you should be able to press Windows key H to bring up the microphone. Click in the box, press record here. Okay, so now it is listening to my voice, and hopefully it will type it in the box when everything is done. You can see there's a little delay there. Let's see if punctuation works, period. Does everything look good, question mark? So you can see this way you could actually add your punctuation, period. If we want to save this, we could do this. Save it as a text file. Let's call this test. Just like that. And of course, you could just copy and paste it into whatever you like. And then up here, you have a couple options to load and save. And the same thing you could do from here record and convert. For some reason, the settings doesn't seem to do anything, at least for me. Options and then help. All right, so as you can see, it works pretty well. Uh, like I said before, the only iffy part is when you're just doing the recording from here. Just make sure you speak slowly and clearly and pause between each sentence and then click on stop, you know, a few seconds after you stop talking to make sure everything works correctly. Right. All right, I'll put a link in the description where you can download speech to text converter and then you can try it yourself. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.